I do have a, a proclamation to present uh, that talks about the important work that the Schenectady County Historical Society does and to commemorate today, uh, the reenactment today, and what it means uh, to our community and to our nation. Uh, but I just want to thank, uh, I want to thank the reenactors. It's just such a great job. I mean, if you, you can get lost in the entire, I like you back in time, right? So uh, the, I just want to hit on a few points uh, before I present the proclamation. Uh, a lot of it uh, you've heard through Michael's comments. Uh, they were just absolutely excellent. And they did a great job tying in you know, recent events uh, to our history, the, nation, the history of our country. Uh, and he pointed it out so well that you may agree or disagree, but if you think back of our history, this is our history, this is how our country operates. Uh, so I'm pleased to, to be able to be here to gather to commemorate uh, this great moment in history here in Schenectady. Uh, I learned a few things today as I prepared this, as I prepared this proclamation, uh, and to see the flag go up and to tie it into the words on the, on the paper, on the proclamation was really meaningful for me. Uh, and the question, the question that uh, Michael brought up, what is liberty and what must we do to secure it? So today, as we relive the events of January 12, 1774, we're reminded of that question and how Michael pointed out it has uh, united and divided Americans throughout our history. So today we reflect and pay tribute to the brave individuals who 250 years ago stood at the corner of Church and Union Street to raise a flag with the word liberty on it. And uh, it was wonderful to see that in action. Schenectady was one of the earliest and most significant players in, sh in the shaping of liberty, entered the revolution that would ultimately forge the United States of America. So on that day, as you heard, uh, already heard today, a crowd of 50 citizens gathered to protest the rules imposed by Parliament, and the act of raising that flag was a confrontational form of protest, applauded by supporters and an act of patriotism and criticized by others. So today we're privileged to stand in the shadows of history, and I'm honored to know that the Schenectady County Historical Society owns the only surviving liberty flag from the Revolutionary War. What a, what a wonderful piece of history. <laughs> Uh, that's just an amazing fact uh, to have here in Schenectady. This artifact is a testament to our city's enduring commitment to the principles of liberty and independence, reflecting on the importance of liberty and the sacrifices made by those who came before us. Uh, so as you heard, this event is uh, not just a celebration of the past, but today we had a beautiful day. It is winter, but we had a beautiful day uh, to come together and honor our history, our heritage, and the enduring spirit of liberty that binds us as a community. So I want to thank all of you. Uh, for, it had a great crowd today. Uh, so I wasn't sure what to expect when I uh, when I attended this, but we had a lot of people show up here. So this is great. And uh, yeah, that's great. You guys do a great job. I'm excited to uh, to share this back at the state capitol when I get back uh, up there next next week uh, to talk about what happened here at Schenectady. Schenectady leads the way in so many areas and our departments, our agencies do a great job and certainly the Schenectady County Historical Society, Society is one of those uh, organizations that we uh, are thankful for. Uh, so with that, uh, if Mary and Michael could come up to receive uh, uh, the proclamation. Maybe our reenactors could come up too and get a yeah. Oh, yeah, get a <laughs> This is the proclamation uh, that we have prepared and uh, it got the seal of the New York State Assembly uh, and it is in honor of the Schenectady County Historical Society on the occasion of the 250th anniversary of the raising of the Liberty Flag. And I'm so very proud to represent the city of Schenectady uh, to talk about its history to be able to uh, present this here for the New York State Assembly today.